Shalom. We're about to gather together again for Yom Kippur, and I wanted to share another message with you. In the Haftarah reading on Yom Kippur, we read from Isaiah a line where God asks, Is this the fast that I have chosen? And the text goes on to talk about all of these rituals and what do they really mean if we're not really taking care of the people in our community. So what does the fast mean if we're not living out loud our Jewish values? And it reminds me of a story. And the story actually is a one that comes from the first uh, founding director of Mazon, a Jewish response to hunger. And he talked about a teacher in Minnesota who asked all of his students if they had any breakfast that day. And a few of them raised their hands. And he knew that there were other things going on, and he didn't want to embarrass the students in the class. So he asked another question. How many of you skipped breakfast because you didn't like it? And lots and lots and lots of hands went up. And he asked another pointed question. How many of you skipped breakfast because you didn't have time? And there were some more hands that went up. And then he asked, because he was pretty sure that there was a number of people that were just poor and didn't have enough. And so he asked another thoughtful, pointed question. How many of you skip breakfast because your family always skips breakfast? And even still, there was a few hands that went up. But there was one kid, he noticed, that still didn't raise his hand. And he thought that the student misunderstood. So he goes over to the student and he asks, why didn't you eat breakfast this morning? And the student responded, it wasn't my turn. I share this because the words from Isaiah ring true. They are important for us. What kind of fast are we going to have? Are we only going to look inward or do we look inward so that we can do more and bring these values outward? That's exactly what we talked about on Road Channel. This year, once again, we participate in a high holy day food drive. I am asking you to remember that we are choosing our fast. For many, it is not a choice. Maybe it's not even their turn. So we are going to ask you, all of us, to bring food on Yom Kippur to our houses of worship so that we can make a difference and save lives. Hunger is a real issue in our community. So please read the message with this email that went out to our congregants. Please do your part and bring unexpired food uh, and within the guidelines that we ask so that we can end somebody's unanticipated fast. This is our 50th anniversary. So we're going to make this a little bit like a challenge. It would be great over the course of this year to bring 5,000 pounds of food into the bold, larger Boulder community to address food insecurity. That's my hope. And we can start on Yom Kippur. May your fast be an easy one. May the new year be a sweet one. Gamar Chatimah